And now, marine weather around Alaska. Tonight's weather is showing low pressure developing here and moving right up to the Kenai Peninsula. And so good solid rain continues here over south central Alaska and that becomes heavy at times for the North Gulf Coast, Prince William Sound actually eastward into the northern panhandle. So the uh, moderate and heavy rain will continue there, but it'll be much drier down to the south. Areas of rain extend northwestward along that frontal boundary here into a couple of low centers. Uh, Eastern Norton Sound there on up in toward the Koyukuk Valley areas. Dry to the north, eastern interior stays dry. And uh, rain and showers over Bristol Bay, southeast Bering Sea here tomorrow, swing inland and it'll keep conditions cloudy and wet, actually in conjunction with these two low centers, all the way from the western Arctic coast down to the Alaska Peninsula into Bristol Bay. A lot of rain and showers there. A little drier in the Kuskokwim Valley here and up toward the Yukon. Low pressure drifts northward into the Susitna Valley, so periods of rain continue here, but slowly diminishing, changing to showers over southern Cook Inlet during the afternoon hours. Just some isolated shower activity for Kodiak. Rain continues from the North Gulf Coast into the southeast coast, again heavy at times. And the southern panhandle, though staying dry, and then for the uh, day on Monday, remnants of this front here keeps it wet over the southeast coast, drier over the Copper River Basin. Could be a dry day for the North Gulf Coast, maybe Prince William Sound. This trough swinging more showers into Cook Inlet and the Kenai Peninsula and numerous showers and rain here over the southwest interior up across Norton Sound. And for the Arctic coast, a band of rain there from uh, the central coast down to the Point Hope Cape Lisbon area. Bering Sea, high and dry, just light winds, dry conditions with a fair amount of clearing continuing there along the Aleutians and into the southern Bering Sea for the coastal water forecast here for the south coast. Uh, south winds 20 knots, central coast south at 25 knots, small craft advisories for the north coast, east southeast winds 25 to 30 knots. Lynn Canal, southeast at 20 with higher gusts, same thing for Stevens Passage. Clarence Strait, south winds 15 knots. And for the day Monday, inside waters here, southeast winds 15 knots, seas 3 to 4 feet, south coast south 15 to 20 knots, central coast south southeast 15 to 20 knots, and the north coast southeast winds 15 knots. Seas running 6 to 7 feet, except 8 feet here down along Prince of Wales Island. Prince William Sound, southeast winds 15 knots, and the eastern North Gulf Coast, southerly 15 to 20 knots, and uh, broad southwest flow here, western North Gulf Coast to the Barrett Islands at 20 knots. Small craft advisories for Cook Inlet and Kamishak Bay tomorrow, south winds 25 knots, seas running about six feet. And those southerly winds uh, diminish on Monday for Cook Inlet down to 10 to 15 knots. Light variable winds for the Kamishak Bay area, the Barren Islands, all of the North Gulf Coast at about 10 knots there, and Prince William Sound east winds at 10 knots with two foot seas. Kodiak Island, small craft advisories, southwest winds 25 knots. Alaska Peninsula, small craft advisories, west southwest winds 25 to 30 knots. Bristol Bay, southwest winds 30 knots with 10 foot seas. And for Monday, Alaska Peninsula, west-northwest winds 15 to 20 knots, southwest at 15 for Bristol Bay and Kodiak Island, southwest winds 15 knots, seas 3 to 5 feet. Eastern Aleutians tomorrow, west-southwest winds 20 to 30 knots, Adak and Atka, southwest at 15 knots, and the western Aleutians, light variable wind conditions at 10 knots, with seas running 4 to 5 feet. And then for uh, Monday, Kiska to Shimia. South at 15, Amchitka Island, variable at 10, Adak and Atka, variable winds 10 knots. For the eastern Aleutians, west winds 15 to 20 knots. And for the southwest coast tomorrow, west southwesterlies at, or I'm sorry, west northwesterlies at 20 knots. Small craft advisories for Norton Sound, St. Lawrence Island, northwest winds at 25 knots. And the Perloff Islands, also small craft advisories, west winds 25 knots in those seas up to 11 feet. And then for Monday, lighter winds here for St. Paul and St. George. Northwest winds, 15 knots, seas subsiding to six feet. Northwest at 20 for the southwest coast here. And St. Matthew Island, seas four to six feet. 
Norton Sound, east at 20 knots, but St. Lawrence Island, northwest at 15. And for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast, northeast winds, 15 to 20 knots. And uh, for the central and western Arctic coast, brisk, or uh, small craft advisories, northeast winds, 25 knots with six foot seas. And the Chuck CC here, small craft advisories also, north winds, 25 to 30 knots. And for the day on Monday, eastern Beaufort Sea coast, west-southwest breeze at 10 knots, northeast of 15 for the central coast. Western Arctic coast, northeast of 20 and the Chukchi Sea, east winds 10 to 15 knots.